hey y'all it's justice maria and i'm back with another video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back as y'all can tell by the title today i'm coming to you guys with another hair review from the company you nice so today they sent me well recently they sent me their kinky straight v part wig in the inches 24 i do want to let you guys know before i you know installed this wig and flat ironed it it was like really puffy and i was just like oh my god no like I need this to look natural because it wasn't blending in with my natural hair so I went ahead and flat ironed it before but it did puff up a little bit more so I did go ahead and show you guys me flat ironing that as well so now you guys just gonna see me take out my leave out the leave out is really important because you don't want too much of a leave out because if you pull out too much it's gonna be really bulky and you don't want that you want something that's gonna lay extremely flat and be careful to not pull out less of the leave out that you need if that makes sense if i worded that correctly so now y'all just gonna see me braid my leave out and you could put a rubber band or a twisted or a clamp whatever you want to do but i feel like braiding it down works best for me shout out to the girls that know how to braid no shade to the girls that don't but yeah so um i'm gonna take out some leave out on my side this is not necessary you do not need to do this but like i said i want that natural look y'all wait till we get to the other side like y'all gonna see like i was like what the fuck but i can't even lie y'all i have been you know just throwing wigs on my hair and not taking the proper steps that i need to protect my edges but watch this do y'all see that oh my god y'all <laughs> I was in shock because I could not believe like I was bald y'all I absolutely hate bald spots but yes yeah, so I'm just gonna break this down and I'll just come back to you guys once we get past this because everything is kind of self-explanatory Okay, so as y'all can see, I braided mine down for the foundation. The inside of the wig did have clamps and combs. As y'all can see, I did tie that little scrunchy thing just to give it a tighter grip on my head because y'all know the wigs do come in bigger than our actual head sizes and you don't want nothing that's lagging or not fitting the head because it just really can be irritating. But So this wig comes with comb. You want to clamp the comb as close to your part as possible. I feel like that's just better. I feel like that's actually how it's supposed to go. So I'm flipping so you guys can see how it looks. Y'all, I'm so sad about that ball spot. But don't freaking look because I'm not looking. So this is how it looks. Once again, I did flat iron the hair before reinstalling it. But I'm showing y'all how it looked like before. You see, it's still puffy in some areas. But just imagine the whole head being like that. So now I'm going to pin back this hair so we could get to the leave out. For the spray, I did use this heat protecting spray that you can get at your local beauty supply store. Um, like I said, leave out is not necessary, but I wanted to go ahead and pull out leave out, even though it didn't cover it as much as I wanted to. And that's only because I'm balding. Because of me, I take full accountability. But yes, um, that's the only reason it's really not covering, but... The girls that get it, get it. The girls that don't, don't. And in this situation, you don't want to get it. But yeah, so I'm just going to do the other side. Like I said, everything is really self-explanatory. But I don't want to be that boring YouTuber that do hair videos and don't talk to you guys. Because me, I would get on here and just record. 
put music and post it but i'm trying to do better i'm trying to give you guys content that you guys will enjoy um also if you guys haven't liked this video by now go ahead and like this video um feel free to drop y'all comments down below and yeah so for this part y'all i was trying to get it like as straight as i could like when i first flat out it like it really got straight but i guess since i wore it it's been in the wind and with stuff like that i don't know maybe that's the reason for it not going as straight as I want. It was working, but it wasn't. But y'all, I promise y'all, the first time I, you know, installed it, it worked really, really, really well. So, yes, y'all. I actually love this hair. It was given natural to me. Um, I don't want to say this is the next quick weave, but if you want something quick and easy, I would say get a V part wig. V or U part, like it's stepping up in the game like it's really easy because i'm the type of person to hit snooze on my alarm and just oversleep but this is really good for you like when you gotta get up and do your hair this is just something you could just throw on and just call it a day so now y'all we about to touch up the little poofiness that's at the top this is really important because like i said you want this part to look as natural as possible see i'm gonna let y'all watch so i won't talk y'all ears off Oh my god, I was so ready to pull the hair behind my ears. Like, I love that. I really do love that. I feel like it just gives you, this is my hair type stuff. Like, if I had more edges, like my hair right there, it would just give, this is my natural hair. But I did go in with the um, straining comb just to see if it would get, like, the hair more straighter with my hair blended in. And now we're going to go on with baby hairs. Again, this is something that's not necessary, but I wanted to go ahead and do this step because you can never go wrong with baby hairs. It's always good to do some light, natural baby hairs. So y'all that's really it for this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment down below what you guys think about this hairstyle and I really enjoy doing this like this was really fun if you don't have me on any of my social medias look down in the description box below just to add me on Instagram or TikTok or whatever the case may be but most importantly you guys don't forget to subscribe to this channel and lastly this is their kinky straight v-part wig in the inches 24 and yeah